Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers, welcome. So today's feminine school video is all about learning how to have and how to protect your feminine confidence, especially when men who are in their feminine and women who are in their masculine are coming for your neck and your jugular. And both dusty men and dust bunny women certainly will as low value clowns and many misguided women are people who are typically uh, driven by the nasty, secretive feelings of insecurity and feeling inadequate. And because of the powerful negative feelings that come with insecurity, both dusty men and the clownette women who follow them of all races, shades, and nationalities are always on the hunt and the attack, looking to damage the self-esteem of others because misery will always want and need company as misery is a very lonely place and a very painful dark cave. Now ladies, the most important part of being able to flourish in your feminine journey is having a sense of supreme unapologetic feminine confidence. And the more confidence that a woman can have, the better. So when the attacks and the secret hate and the secret war games and the passive aggressive people in your life become full out attack dogs, or they are beginning to sit and to spin, on all four cylinders of loud hatred, you will be prepared. Now, the main reason why people attack confidence is because confidence is threatening. It is threatening and disruptive to the status quo, and it is threatening to the low expectations that people want others to have of themselves. And it goes without saying that there are many men and women who will both benefit from seeing women, particularly black women, and their self-esteem in the trash. And that is the bottom line recipe that is necessary for a woman to be used and abused and exploited for the personal gain of others. But the more confident a woman is, the more she will know that without a doubt that she is worthy of goodness, nor will she be surprised when goodness comes her way. And for the most part, ladies, we need to embrace the very empowering narrative that we teach people how to treat us based on our level of confidence and that is why so many dusty men and dusty women need your confidence to be low because it benefits them in the long run and having confidence is very triggering to the people who generally do not like to see others win because it reminds them of their own low self-worth and esteem so ladies you can and will win with committed soft feminine power but you will always need confidence to back it up as the world is designed to push your boundaries and to test your worth. And your confidence is what you will need to pass the constant test of life with flying colors. So here are my 13 feminine suggestions on how to increase and build and on how to sustain and win in your feminine power, AKA your confidence. Number one, working out. Ladies, I cannot stress enough the importance of exercise as self-care. And breaking a sweat, especially during this time when summer bodies are made in the winter, working out gives our self-esteem a healthy boost of endorphins and endorphins are the hormones that help us to feel accomplished and successful. Women who don't work out are usually very low on endorphins, which will often pave the way for anxiety, self-neglect, depression, and even low self-esteem. Uh, number two, have a kick rocks mentality when it comes to having boundaries. Ladies, we teach people how to treat us. So your block and delete game must be on 10 as becoming a feminine, confident woman will always trigger the insecure and the angry birds who want to attack and harass. So learn how to block and delete without apology, cancel frenemy friendships, and spend less time or avoid problematic family members who seek to do nothing but drag and pull you down. Ladies, when we learn how to protect ourselves without apology, our feminine confidence will shine and flourish. Uh, number three, practice looking in the mirror. Confidence comes from self-acceptance and practicing mirror work is all about liking what you see when you look in the mirror. And looking in the mirror and loving your reflection is about self-acceptance without judgment and learning how to meet ourselves where we are at instead of wishing that we were born looking different or looking like someone else. And once we accept ourselves 
only then can we begin to make the changes that we will need to correct our poor self-image. And if you want to learn more about how to practice mirror work, just search YouTube for more information to strategically improve your feminine confidence. Uh, number four, and this is very important, practice shadow work. Shadow work, and there are plenty of YouTube videos on this feminine topic as well, means understanding the necessity of accepting your dark side and a lot of women struggle with this, but every woman and every man has a dark side as your dark side is the part of your personality that we tend to hide from others because we fear rejection and not being accepted. But when a woman does not accept the parts of her dark side, she will not have an authentic voice of her own and she will become an imposter and a parrot and a copycat of what others are thinking and doing instead of learning how to love and trust and accept herself. And this lack of self-awareness and self-acceptance is what will often drive a woman to seek out the validation and the opinions of misogynistic men, women who practice internalized misogyny, and low-value dusties. Number five, stop allowing self-righteous strangers to shame you. Ladies, stop allowing people who don't like themselves to tear down your worth. People who don't like themselves are very easy to spot as they are typically highly critical of others in ways that are irrational and or based on heavy distortion. People who don't like themselves are trying to hide and mask their own shame. So to avoid their own painful reality, they will project their negative self-righteous feelings onto others with bullying to destroy your worth and your confidence. Uh, number six, have a relationship with your womb space and your slice of heaven, as those are the parts of your womanhood that will keep your feminine third eye open and will make your feminine confidence pop. Too many modern women are overthinkers who are disconnected from the very thing that makes them powerfully soft, feminine, and confident. Uh, number seven, get the ugly stuff out. And this is very important. This is the shame, the resentment, the rage, the anger, the guilt, being violated, disrespected, humiliated, feeling used, loneliness, self-neglect, perpetual sadness, illness, negative programming, distortion, bad breakups, and soul ties. Women who store or hold on to these very toxic and weighing emotions will ultimately block their feminine divine, which will have a rippling effect on your confidence. Committing to unlearning and unpacking these very damaging emotions is very key in increasing your feminine confidence and is the reason why you should subscribe to this channel. Uh, number eight, stay away from energy leeches, trauma dumpers, emotional vampires, and people who are always looking for someone to use and someone to blame. These people can and will turn you into a mother figure, a father figure, a nursemaid, driving Miss Daisy, and will twist your lack of boundaries into six ways from Sunday, which will ultimately crush your freedom and destroy your confidence. At number nine, recognize the trauma dumpers in your life and minimize your exposure to them. Whether your mother, your father, your angry uncle, or your bitter auntie, or the people in your life who are constantly telling you what you don't deserve, what you'll never have, or what you'll never be. In order to be femininely confident, you will have to put those people on ice as those people are supremely arrogant and they believe that they are entitled to use their broken, distorted crystal ball to tell you what they believe that your future is going to look like, which is very damaging to a woman's self-esteem. At uh, number 10, treat yourself as sacred and precious. A feminine woman will always know that she is precious and valuable and cherished because she has done her homework. Treating yourself as sacred and precious basically means seeing yourself as the prize and treating yourself as the prize with radical self-care and putting a priority on looking your feminine best. At uh, number 11, take action. Confidence comes from doing and failing. Confidence comes from stretching your wings, creating a bucket list and a vision board and doing the work with follow through. This means moving to a better zip code and traveling to new places and eating at better restaurants and dating better men. Number 12, stay committed to your feminine journey. Ladies, success in any arena requires a commitment, a follow through and a desire for better. Many women are now becoming more aware of embracing the feminine principle, but they will either fall off the wagon or fall to the wayside, or they will make excuses along the way, or they will continue to be a dead horse with the same tired 
and played out and dead end circle of conversations about dusty men only in the end to get mad at other women who have continued to build upon their feminine success. So ladies, stay committed to your feminine journey. At number 13, know the difference between constructive criticism and damaging criticism and always consider the source. Constructive criticism is a helpful way of giving feedback and solutions and damaging criticism is used to put others down in a way that is exploitative and unhelpful. Uh, ladies, when you are being criticized, always consider the source. People who criticize, shame, and blame in unhelpful ways or who otherwise make hating on others a full-time job are not confident people because confident people do not bash others for wanting the best out of life. And number 14, as a bonus, stop being the engineered face of strength. And I will be making a very necessary video to unpack this topic. But ladies, feminine women can be powerful, sexy, and strong, but it is never a cool thing to be the face of masculinity as that is very destructive and very stripping to a woman's softness and her feminine potential. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Ladies, do not put your self-esteem and your worth into the hands of perfect strangers and expect them to handle it with care because that is your responsibility as a feminine woman. Ladies, a low value man, a toxic man, a man with lots of shameful secrets and a dusty man will never have the bandwidth to handle our femininity with care. And if you do not protect your feminine confidence, you are essentially sending an open invitation to others to devalue you and disrespect you for entertainment. So to get this conversation started, is it a man's job to handle a woman with care or is it a woman's job to teach a man how to treat her? And as always, I look forward to reading your amazing comments below. And a special thank you to all of you who have chimed in over at Hypergamous Hive. You guys are amazing. And stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers in the next one.